attention and focus. That's something every business wants to get. Keeping users' attention and focus may sound hard, but in fact, there are a few rules and tricks that you can use. At the end of the video, I'll show you an awareness test related to controlling your attention. Now, let's jump into the rules. Distance. Let's say you have several squares that have the same space between them. Here, you have nothing you can focus on. But as soon as I move any square like this, the square will stand out among others, and you'll shift your focus on it. Size. Again, if every square have the same size, they are all equal. As soon as you change the size of any of them, you'll grab user's attention immediately. Color. The same applies to color. As soon as they change the color of any square, your focus will shift to the square that has a different color. Shape. If an element has a distinct shape, it will stand out as well. Motion. Another trick would be to animate an element. This is a widely used pattern. I'm sure you have seen some CTA buttons with animations, like shaking or jumping or whatever. People. A widespread trick is to place a person looking at or pointing at something. Look at these amazing examples. Sound. While it's not very common and usually considered a bad practice, sound definitely grabs our attention. How to apply this in the user interface? Well, there are plenty of examples. Say you have a number of links. If you want to move your focus to the pricing link, you can change its color or size to make it stand out more. One of my favorite examples is a trick used by Josh Camo on his blog. By having this fellow, he got a huge number of subscribers. Another common trick is to reduce the number of options. There is Hicks law. The time it takes to make a decision increases with the number and complexity of choices. Look at this chart that perfectly illustrates this idea. The more choice you give users, the harder it becomes to choose anything. By reducing the number of items, you can make it easier for users to decide. I promise you to show the awareness test. Let's do that. You'll watch a one-minute video, and your task is to calculate how many passes a team makes. I have put the link to the original video in the description. You'll see the answer right at the end of the test. This is an awareness test. How many passes does the team in white make? The answer is 13. But did you see the moonwalking bear?